Bryn Weiss has been tracking Kathleen Wynne and the Liberals. And uh, what do they got to say for themselves today, Bryn? Well, uh, David, the day started off for Kathleen Wynne uh, meeting with Paul Martin, but I actually want to get back to uh, the story that Lisa was just touching on there, the NDP platform, because, of course, today really does mark a major milestone in the campaign. The NDP has now put out their platform. For several weeks, they've taken heavy fire from both the progressive conservatives and the liberals uh, that they weren't focused. They didn't have a plan. And I think over the past few weeks, we've actually seen the NDP get a little sidelined in this campaign. So now that we have their platform, we're going to see if this can actually shake things up and put the NDP back into what was once, of course, a three-way race. Andrea Horvath made no mystery today, David, that she is really trying to appeal to voters' pocketbooks. She's really been focusing in on the pocketbook issues of this election, like hydro rates and also taxes. Let's watch. We are actually going to cap the CEO salaries in the public sector. <laughs> We have seen promise after promise made to get those skyrocketing salaries under control in Ontario. And have we seen it yet? No. New Democrats will deliver that hard cap on CEO salaries across the public sector. Because that's what makes sense to people. And David, when you actually look at the platform, there's a couple ideas in here that are new. There's a couple that are recycled from the Liberals. Uh, and also there's some ideas that we've heard from Andrew Horvath sort of trickle out in dribs and drabs over the past few weeks. Notably, they say they're going to balance the provincial budget in the year 2017-2018. That's the same as the Liberals are promising. Uh, the NDP are looking at about $1.8 billion in new program spending this year. And that'll ramp up to about $2.8 in new program spending at the end of the four-year term. Uh, and of course, of course, David, how do you pay for all of this new program spending? Well, the NDP says they're going to raise corporate taxes uh, by one percentage point, from 11.5% up to 12.5%. Uh, but they are going to cut small business tax rate down to 3%. And they've also brought in a series of uh, tax credits uh, for caregivers, as well as job creators, and even companies if they're buying manufacturing equipment. Other goodies in the budget include a lot of money for transit. They're not only echoing the Liberals' $29 billion 10-year plan for transit, but they're also setting aside $250 million dollars over the next four years to widen 60 kilometers of provincial highways every year and half of that money David is in northern Ontario so the NDP obviously making a big push today to get northern voters who want to see some more four-lane highways in that part of the province now Brad Duguid uh, a, a former minister in the Liberal government and a Liberal candidate in this election he was waiting for reporters outside Queen's Park to offer the Liberal answer to the NDP platform let's listen to Brad Duguid from earlier today this platform really is a bit of a waste of Ontarians time she could have achieved a lot of the objectives in this platform albeit by different ways more effective ways had she have voted for the Liberal budget and David I think that clip is actually quite telling because what it tells me anyway is that the Liberals really did put forward an NDP budget and if they're saying this is a waste of time and the Liberal budget would have achieved everything that Horvath wanted to in her platform well that's really telling and I think it groups together the Liberals and the NDP and maybe making Tim Hudak quite happy now because he really has one sort of unified enemy on the left in the Liberals and the NDP especially if their platforms are all the same David well you're absolutely right uh, uh, Bryn I mean it's increasingly obvious we heard it from the Premier herself a couple of days ago essentially the the liberals are saying hey those NDPers they're just like us or we're just like them which means all the more reason for Andy Horvath and the NDP and this is where I find their campaign a little confusing they really need to say we didn't vote to bring down the budget we voted to bring down the liberal government because we don't trust them we don't believe in them they're corrupt any number of things she's really Horvath has really got to do more to say folks it's not about the budget it's about the uh, you know the the qualification to govern that's exactly right, David. And the progressive conservatives have been making this point over and over that Horvath and the NDP propped up the Liberal government for the past few years. And so how then can they now turn on the Liberals and their policies when they've been supporting it for so long? And let's remember, too, some of the first ads that have hit the airwaves uh, just yesterday, David, was an attack ad from the NDP highlighting the Liberal scandal. So I think we will perhaps see more of that in the coming weeks. The NDP pointing out the scandals of the Liberal parties mm -hmm. and maybe not necessarily attacking their policies but rather the scandals of the past, e-health, orange, and, of course, the gas plant cancellations. Bryn Weiss uh, joining us, I should mention, from Toronto, right outside the very hip Mod Club. All right, Bryn, you'll be back a little later on in the show. Thank you so much.